Hi, my name is Debbie Casperi, and I'm from Norman, Oklahoma. One of the things I really love most about the tropical rainforest is just what a big plate of scrambled eggs it really is. And by that, I mean, it's just full of things to distract you and surprise you. And you look around and there's, maybe there's an army ant swarm, and maybe there's some ant birds that are chasing the arthropods and the insects and things that are trying to escape. There's just always something to surprise you. It's kind of like a big city full of crazy people and noisy, crazy people. And you uh, you just kind of have to sift through it and, um, and be open. Be open to the surprise. Sometimes you'll get a, a mixed flock of birds. Um, and they'll come by and sort of turn everything upside down you know, just foraging around you and twittering and all these different species and climbing up and down the tree trunks and searching for stuff to eat and absolutely driving you crazy while you get your binoculars on all these different things, trying to figure out what they are, trying to draw them. It's absolutely crazy, but it's really fun. And that's something that you see in the tropics a lot more than you see in the temperate zone. And it's a really special thing about the tropics. So I have a lot of of fun and a lot of sketchbooks. And that's that's just basically a great way to, you know, to observe and experience a, a strange environment like that and try to understand it by drawing it. And what I do is, uh, I take those sketchbooks and I come home and I, I go in the studio and I, I try and sort of assemble it into some sort of painting, which is what I did with shadow play. That actually began as a watercolor study that was maybe six inches by six inches. And I drew it when I was on Barrow, Colorado Island, BCI. Everybody calls it. BCI is a science island. It's not open to tourists. It's not open to the public. It is uh, strictly for scientific research. The Smithsonian runs it. And I'm, I'm married to an ant biologist, and he goes there and does a ton of research every year. And um, sometimes I get to come along, and uh, while he's doing his research, uh, I'm out there with the sketchbook. One of the things I like to do also is record bird sounds. And when I'm back in the studio and I'm working on one of these paintings, uh, I'll put on my own soundtrack and remember what it's like, you know, just kind of relive that experience. And I'll paint to that. So shadow play is pretty much all about the sheer joy of tropical life, which is basically what parrots are all about, too. <laughs>